want to give a big shout out to our friends at One McDonough Place in Middletown. There hey. they are. <laughs> We love a live studio audience. Absolutely, and, and, and we notice it's standing room only <laughs> in the back for the one gentleman. Gil was saying you guys should do the wave. Do you want to do the wave for us so everyone can see at home? There we hey! go. Hey! Not all at once now. So they're going to be <laughs> hanging out with us all day long, uh, good friends of the show. We just visited them. They're, they're part of Middlesex Hospital mm -hmm. in Middletown. So we're happy that you guys can be here with us today. I actually thought we, you told me we were going to have visitors from McDougal today, and no. I was so confused, the, Not, the prison in Suffield. No, that would have been a totally different show, I guess. I guess. Okay? <laughs> And here, we're so there. happy they're, they're here. Today's dish is all presented by Stone Academy. Get this, a longtime custodian at West Haven High School is $25,000 richer. That is so cool here. 73-year-old uh, Patty Brown won the top prize for the Cash Word Lottery scratch-off. Brown bought her ticket at Grillo's Market on Campbell Avenue in West Haven, and she's been a custodian at West Haven Schools for 38 years, and she says she's going to buy herself a new recliner. Good for her. And share some of that prize money with her family. Uh, so that'll be a nice way to ring in the holiday season. Yes, that's right. Mm -hmm. uh, speaking of rings. Oh, wait. Our, can we give her our, our, phone, our phone number so she can Venmo us some money? You think she'll. What do you need? Do you want lunch or what do you have to oh, no, I mean, she's got 25 grand. I'm sure she watches CT style. You could show some love <laughs> to your friends, right? We're friends. Yeah, we go way back. It'll be a nice holiday season, though, yeah. for sure, right? Make Absolutely. Christmas shopping a little bit easier. Yeah, Patty's probably going to be able to pay for a large diamond. Mm -hmm. but Not as large as this one. No. Take a look. This is the pink legacy over in Switzerland. 19 carats. Ooh. That's uh, pretty hefty. I, yeah. I thought you had a big ring, but I guess not. <laughs> 19 carats takes the cake. So, so you're the expert when it comes to rings. So, so break it down why this one's so special. Well, Ryan, it's sold for a whopping 50 million bucks. It's so valuable because it's made of the highest grade of color and intensity. I guess we'll have to speak to our diamond experts later in the show with I JoJo. I guess so. About yeah, that. JoJo Pastors uh, came up from New Jersey today, so we're pumped up to talk to her all about that. We got some high-end jewels on the show. Yeah, so absolutely. All right, since we'll be seeing some snow on the ground tomorrow not afternoon, a fan. early Can we evening, not talk right? about it? Can we just avoid the whole snow thing? No, probably no? not here in New, Ling New England. We're going to talk about best time to save money on a Christmas tree. That's on Christmas Eve, apparently, huh? Right. A new study found that when the average price for a tree will drop to just $47. The worst day is on Cyber Monday, though. That's that's the most expensive. But I mean, who's going to go out on Christmas Eve, buy a tree? Well, you really don't get to enjoy it. Obviously, no. the price is going to be cheap because they want to get rid of it the next day is Christmas. Right. Yeah, maybe you go out uh, on, on December can... 26 and get a get a great deal. I bet you you get a deal better than forty dollars. You know, my my grandfather's uh, brother back in the day, he used to go Christmas shopping for next year, the day after Christmas, because that's when they have all the big Bargains, deals. Bargains, right? <laughs> Imagine opening something like, this is from uh, 2014. I would this forget where I put everything. iPhone I 3G. So are, are you buying a tree this year? Are you cutting it down? What's the, the favorite uh, tree? We have a farm in Middlebury. We go there, yeah. and then we, we pick it out, and then it goes up. Okay, so... Uh, it's a real tree. It makes a, the house smell tree. nice. Okay. Absolutely. Because last year I had a real tree, but there were too many of the little pine needles on it the gets ground. Messy. And the dog was going through. I, I think we might go with a fake one this year. Aww. I don't know. But but maybe you could help me trim it. Get the some fake one? Yeah, well, yeah, you know, put the decorations <laughs> up, the tinsel, the whole bit. Yeah, maybe our it's friends from One so McDonough fun. Place. Do you guys want to help us out? There yeah. you go. Lots we have some trees awesome. in the studio that were decorated today, that, which is the season, Very right? Beautiful. Mm -hmm. All right, Thanksgiving is next week, and we all know it just wouldn't be the same without the famous Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. It's that time of the year. More than 400 children got a first look at some of the new floats down in New Jersey. Newcomers this year include the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Elf on the Shelf Elf Pets, which is <laughs> kind of a cute addition. The floats take 18 months to design and produce, so quite the production. And a total of 26 floats, 56 balloons will all be part of the celebration. And 3.5 million people are expected to watch that parade in New York. That's it's, on my bucket list. I'd like to go to the parade Thanksgiving Day. In person, day. you yeah, would go? Yeah, absolutely. Why not? I'd rather stay there in my PJs and watch it from watch, home. Watch my mom make the turkey. With a Bloody Mary. That's right. <laughs>